Hi, right, welcome back. I am Richard the Painter. Sorry, I am lost. There we go. Where are we? Trying to find my coffee and put it somewhere safe. So, basically, uh, this video is basically me explaining this trans what we're going to do, what we can't we do, and how it's going to work. So, uh, this customer's away out of the country for a couple of months uh, with work. So um, we're trying to get this job done in that time frame, which shouldn't be a problem. Um, there is quite a bit to do, but it shouldn't be a problem. Um, so basically, at the minute anyway, it looks a mess. Um, so we're putting a T6 front end on it. They're 5.1 um, mirrors, I think, anyway. Um, they might be the same on the T6. Either way, they're the better mirror, if you're interested. So basically, we've got a transporter here. It's been painted numerous times. Usual thing. It's just been cobbled up and it hasn't been looked after. Um, customers um, been saving up. Um, basically, the idea is they're going to use this as a, a family wagon. Um, putting a pop top on it and um, various other things down the road we've just got to get it uh, repaired and painted if you like so as you can see it will end up with a new arch which is beautiful you can't really tell on the camera as well but that bottom piece down there is definitely definitely out of shape so I'd imagine it's hiding some uh, um, some beautiful surprises in there for us which is something to look forward to uh, we've changed the tailgate uh, although this one has got some dents on it the original one was absolutely horrendous um, it was bent upwards and outwards um, so it's just it wouldn't have been right you could have done something with it but i mean it would have been nowhere near right and then you're going to be mardy that you've wasted all that time and effort onto it and then i'd have ended up with another one being delivered and can i repair and paint that one and done it before for people and it is it's just not worth the headache it's not, you you think you're trying to save money um but you're not really because you're paying somebody to repair it and then you could have bought yourself a decent one and know it'll be alright because that bottom edge, although it looks a bit skanky and it's been sat, so there's a lot of leaves and grass cuttings and stuff like that in there, but we're going to clean it all out anyway and after it's painted it'll be wax all, so I mean there won't be a problem. And we've got to reseal the bottom of the door edge anyway, usual thing. Um, so we're having all glass all the way around on this one new glass for that new glass for that uh the front ones are having openers customers already put in a arch um so we're just going to tidy up a few bits i got a big list written down anyway but basically tidy that old bodywork that uh, there's a few dingers around it which we're going to have to really pay attention to find because once you knock the shine off the paint i don't know if you can notice there's no shine on there at all completely flat um, it's difficult to find them so we need to make sure that we get them all there's a couple in that sliding door there's a there's a usual ones grouped together along here that's a different door anyway look, that's been purchased separate uh, so with the roof we're just painting basically the rails of the roof because he's having a popped up anyway so we're not getting excited with that that's the second hand mirror but again we're just going to um, repair and paint the cap so it all matches uh, we've got a brand new bonnet uh, new bumpers new trims uh, wing in there look uh, lots and lots and lots of new stuff uh, which does make the process a lot easier to be honest i know initially you're thinking it's costing you money but it does make the job a lot better and you'll be so much more happier with it down the road that you've done it initially it's a lot, a lot of money 
because uh, you're buying parts and then you're paying for paint and labor and all sorts of stuff but it's um definitely worth it down the road so we're not building this one back up as such we're just making it watertight so we are having a new screen uh, and like i said this side's having glass as well so we're going to have an opener here a fixed window here so basically there's five windows going in the back plus a new screen so it's going to look super fresh we are painting the door handles customer wasn't sure um they look a mess anyway so i, I basically said well we'll we'll, we'll color code them and if you don't like them uh, there's always we can either repaint them black because uh, they need painting anyway um, or if not you can get them covers now that just stick straight on anyway if you wanted some chrome or carbon or whatever like that excuse the train there we go um, yeah so I think that's about it as far as you're concerned so I am going to try and share a lot of the process because the customer uh, is a subscriber and is watching um when he can um so for his benefit more so uh i just want to show if we come across anything i can show it in the video and uh what we've done to rectify it and uh i'd imagine there's going to be some surprises in that back back quarter there um but we do have an arch and we do have the lower panel for it as well and we do have a section of sill so if we do end up having to do all three at least we've got that uh, but we won't know till it's bare metaled anyway and i'm not going to bare metal it until i know it's inside and it won't go inside until the uh t4 if you've been watching the videos you'd have seen that anyway but it won't come inside until i know the t4's off the ramp and then I can put the the T5 on the ramp so we can finish and bodywork and that type of thing. Um, take it all out as well because there's no end of new stuff in there. There's all the glass and all the bumpers and everything like that. So There's no splitter on there, I don't think. I think there was a spoiler going on. But the splitters and the fancy stuff, I think, will come down the road. I think it's more important to get the van done looking respectable yeah and i think after christmas if i understood it right you might comment um, after christmas i think it was uh you'll save up a few more quid and then get the, the pop top done and then basically it's just get everything inside then and then that can be as cheap or as dear as you want depending on what you're doing if you can do it yourself you save a lot of money um but if you want it like really fancy and that's some of these kits that they do now they're reasonably priced for what they are but again you, you you soon burn for a few quid again but yeah hopefully we can salvage this one anyway it's not not the worst ones we've done we've had uh some really really bad ones in the past uh, so it's this is actually this is actually all right so although it looks a bit uh well it looks very rough at the minute it's not uh it's not that bad. It looks miserable today. Um, right, so that's basically the start of that. So what we will do is this video will carry on. That's 10 minutes of me waffling. Anyway. I'm doing this video beforehand. But when that goes in and we've gone through everything, uh, we'll carry on again. But like I said, these are more update videos for the customer as opposed to highly polished videos not that i do highly polished videos anyway so but you know what i mean the the information i'm giving is more so it is for everybody but it's for the customer as well so you can see what we've done uh, or doing should i say um that way as well it's, it's a nice record isn't it? it's always going to be there as far as i'm aware so um if you ever want to refer back to something whether we did something or not it's all there isn't it right that's um i can't think of anything else for that at the moment so we'll leave that there uh so this video should carry on
always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life. I never miss that fact Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fill I took the red pill I know life's short so I wanna live real But how's it supposed to feel? They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap I ain't playing no games, I just do that's fact And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah bitch I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said
parts. There's always transport parts. So I've started the video off, I think, assuming we don't lose all of this. I've had a computer issue. My um, power box, whatever is in the computer, broke. Fried my SD card. That's what was, uh, that's what was, was, was wrong, which is why I've lost so much footage. So this one's a T5 that we're doing. See blue. So we're doing this one. Um, I think if you've seen this, you've already seen my little water around video. I think should have done anyway. I don't know if I lost that or not. Colour does look very blue on the pit on the camera, but I mean, it's definitely more of a greeny blue. Uh, it's a BMW colour. Uh, Luna Seca blue or something it's called, I think. Uh, so we've got a spoiler.
of Aces, part of a catwalk on the back of a lorry. We do a lot of lorry stuff, and this is some of the bits that we normally do. I don't normally show an awful lot of it. I show bits and pieces, but um, um, yeah, these are some of the nicer bits that we get to do. We've just done some marker poles as well with the lights on them. Um, they're all wrapped up there, I forgot to show you them, but I just thought, I've just finished this, so I thought I was going to show you this quick. So, back on with whatever I'm recording on this SIM card. Right, hopefully this makes sense. Uh, T5 this one, I'm trying to get me. We've got that much going on at the minute, I'm trying to remember where we are. So T5, this one's going that BMW blue. Uh, this is the last of the small bits if you like, so we've got that piece again. Uh, some of you may notice from a previous video, I am painting it again because it looked terrible. It had a big re repair in it from previous, um, which we didn't spot in the primer process, and then we've primed it, uh, painted it, and then the very next day I'm like, caught it at the right wrong angle. It looked horrendous, so we've uh, whipped that back to bare metal, started again with that. Turns out it did have a big, um, quite a big groovy dent in there, so. Uh, we've just got stuff like uh, handles now, front wings, uh, sliding door, because the uh, main reason is it's done, repair-wise. So if we can paint it, we are limited on storage at the moment, so we are trying to uh, be a bit careful. I mean, luckily we're not building this up. Luckily we're not building this up completely because the customer wants to do that and uh, it's not in the budget either. Um, but we are, we are obviously going to put the door back on and um, uh, I think I said I'd put the wings on just so they're not sat wrapped up in the back there somewhere but we are doing windows and stuff like that i think we have spoke about it before yeah so basically we've got uh both front wings three door handles uh, fuel cap now he doesn't know yet but the customers uh the panel the b pillar panel in fact if i share it on this video because then he'll be able to see it because he does watch uh, I will find that, I'll put that somewhere safe. Uh, right, well I'll find that and I'll get back to you with that. But the, basically the panel that sits below the fuel cap, uh, it's rotted out and full of filler again. So we need uh, to get a new one of them, but I'll I will show you because then the customer can see. Uh, right, so we'll get this organised and I'll be back. Right, I found it now, so you can see, it says rotten in the corner. Rotten all inside. So, I've had to make a executive decision and uh, I haven't ordered it yet, but I will order it, just so I've definitely got it. Where I found one, 111 quid for a new one, which is quite pricey, but there's no point in painting that. Customer will be back within six months whinging. And rightly so, because it's right. Right, it might be a bit more noisy than normal. I've just literally put it on bake, so the fans are swapped over, and it's warming up in here, but I just wanted to show you.
going to give that a good 10 minutes before I go home anyway. Uh, just make sure we've got some heat on there so it skins over. What we don't want is it, if I leave it too long, uh, there's liable to dust to land in it and stuff like that. So we're trying to keep it as clean as we can. Um, so tailgate. Uh, we can see we've already had some repairs going on in here. Uh, obviously we're not repairing them because we're putting out the window. We've repaired up there. All the little bits and pieces. Not quite finished yet, but uh, uh, we've got quite a bit to do on that tailgate. We've got to clean up all the inside, reseal the bottom. Uh, I'll have to check my notes. But yeah, then we can paint that. We've got the arch, that's why it's in there at the minute, actually. So, that's the... Uh, the next joyous job. Now normally, and I think I've said this a few times, I wouldn't ordinarily paint all that stuff, but because we're not fitting up the lorry, the, the van, as such, we can just basically stash it, wrap it up, and stack it neatly in the back, uh, in the cardboard boxes, for the customer to sort out when he gets it back. Ordinarily, we won't want to do that because we won't want stuff hanging around in the workshop all the time. So uh, we would try and avoid that if possible. But yeah, that'll be it for this video anyway. That shows basically we've painted. Hopefully I haven't lost all the other footage that I've done already. So it should show all the smaller areas, all the smaller stuff and loose items that we've painted, hopefully. And then uh, the next lot will be tidying up the actual main van itself. So. Uh, which some of it's good, some of it isn't, but uh, um, that's why they're getting painted, aren't they? So, uh, yeah, right. If you like this sort of videos, give us a like, share, subscribe. If you want to see any more? Let me know. Just send us a comment. If you think anybody else might like it, share it to them as well. Let's see if we can get our subscriber count back up. Uh, or up, should I say? We're nearly at that thousand mark now, so. I'm I've never really pushed it before, but I'm actually quite keen to get to that thousand pound. Um, thousand subscriber mark, it's like a milestone. So, um, right, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.